let's go. Y'all know what time it is? It's 7.40 actually, but it's time to finish up the King's of Grind radio show. It's your girl, Lil D. It's your girl, Kitty Biscuit. What up, y'all? I. And your boy, Jess B. B. O. G. I got to get my test together. All right. Let, let, let Guess man, what? Let, let the man mention his name. Yeah, it's right. my turn? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to turn. Hold on, we got a okay, special well, guest. Oh, kill me in, kill me in. All right, right, hold on. Rewind the track, hold on. Kill we got in. a special guest, yeah. y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a special guest. I'm going to let him get his own spelling test. Come on, special guest. What's your name? What's happening, family? It's your favorite big brother, Mr. Church, man. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get oh, him. Oh, you get a whole yeah. break? No, he gave us a whole spelling <laughs> test. Get everybody else yeah, their right. whole spelling so, so look, there's a few people that I already know, but for those who don't know, church stands for change, humility, unity, righteousness, character, and hope. Mr. Churchman. Now, Mr. Church, how long it took you to find out all these words? <laughs> <laughs> true story, true story. When okay. God rebranded me, I was like, and I heard Mr. Church in my spirit. I was like, okay, God, that's kind of that's kind of broad. You know, where am I going with that? What is that? What is the whole symbolism behind that? Mm -hmm. And then I kind of, you know, probably like some hours later, just kind of meditating and stuff, he began to bring the acronyms to me, what, what church really stands for. He kind of broke it down. Instead of just being church and you thinking of, of just like a building and, and all that good stuff, he began to break it down and give it more meaning for me. So, Mr. Church. Okay, okay. So I was going to be like, I'm still looking in the Bible for words that start with R. See, I gave it to you. I gave you righteousness. You did. You did. I got you. I knew that was a biblical word. Don't do me, okay? <laughs> now, you did. anyway. You up in here today. Anyway, y'all welcome Mr. Church. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who, if wifey put this fire red orange on his beard, but that's, oh, yeah, why is that? Okay. Let me yes, tell you something. That thing is that. fine. Okay. It's the ombre effect that you got going yes. on. Yeah. I like that. Child, why are you going to chew up? Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. But I, I was, if it looked bad, I was going to be like, who did that? But it was good. And I didn't want white people. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay. Why you going to chew up? Okay. What's his next color, wifey? We don't know yet. It's all be a surprise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why is that surprise? Suspense. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to rock this for a minute, though. I like that. Okay. Magenta pink. Magenta pink. It's like fire. It, it looked like fire, y'all. Shut up in That's his bones. Said. Come on. Ah, right, shut up. It's their guy. Oh, oh they speak their tongues. Ah, shut up. She don't know what that means. Do that tongue one more time. She's chanting. She didn't know what that means. She didn't know what that means. Uh, I sound like a motorcycle. Yes, they was in here speaking like tongue <laughs> hey, yes, I got Lord. caught up in the tongue speaking. Oh, you don't get that though. You progressing though. For real, I've been saying it since I've been here. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be ready to go where it matters. For real, that's it. I'm going to be ready to go in the water one more time. One more time. I'm going to be ready to go in the water again. Because that other one will go off a little bit. Holy Spirit, slap her on the so we, I, we, I really would like to know, like your background right. about yourself that transitioned you into Mr. Church. Wow, that's a good question. So, uh, Mr. Church been rapping. I'm talking in third person. I've been rapping for about ten years, right? And when I started rapping, my my government name is Rodriguez. Okay. So when you shorten it up, everybody called me Rod. Right. So true story. Before Charlemagne was Charlemagne the God, I was Rod the God. You heard? Yeah. You heard that Charlemagne? Okay. Before Charlemagne was Charlemagne the God, I was Rod the God. Okay. You heard? So um, mm -hmm. but like it's crazy because it's hard for the church to receive that. For real, it's hard for people. Even like I had friends that's from the church that when um, you know they heard my rap name, it kind of stepped on their toes and because they know me to be a humble dude. So they was like, um, oh, bro, that God thing is kind of. And I spelled it with a lowercase g, right? But it still kind of offended people. So fast forward, 2019 was kind of crazy for me, man. God turned my whole life upside down, and out of that, all I was left with was my music. And he and God um, instructed me to take the music more serious, and out of that came a rebranding. So then I go from Rod to God to Mr. Church, which I kind of gave y'all the whole acronym thing, but God gave me a rebrand, and he was like, look, I need you to represent the church, because the church, at the end of 2019, if you can remember, Pastor, the church was kind of beginning to go up under a lot of scrutiny. People was getting to, yes. beginning to put the church up under the magnifying glass, and God said, I want you to walk in the right light. I want you to represent the church, because uh, watch this, some of it is the church's fault. 
Let's just be honest. Right. Some of what the church is going through and the scrutiny and the, right. and the magnifying glass is the church's fault. We, we, we manipulated our roles. We took advantage of the roles we was in. And God just told me, I want you to walk in the right light. Because it's going to be a lot of... Un there's a harvest that's coming. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass it now. Oh, and God up, said, uh, there's, a, there's an unchurched harvest that's coming. So I want you to represent God, this thing in the right light. Come on, Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. Thank you for calling Kingdom Brown Radio. Are we on the way to heaven? <laughs> Hello? Sergio, it may be a bill collector. Hold on. Hello? No, I'm saying they hung up. <laughs> I know it's a bill collector. <laughs> <laughs> Because you, she so, so no, it's a, it's a, it's a harvest coming of unchurched people, right. and and watch this. They need to see somebody that look like them. Yes. They need to see somebody that talk like them. Yes. But watch this. I'm a student of the word. I'm a pastor. I'm an evangelist. I, I, I know God. I have a relationship with God. Yes. And so I'm gonna be prayerfully a bridge that can help bring them over from an unchurched world into a church world. Come on. 